These are two standard meter rules that I use for odd jobs around the house. Putting them side by side, they look as if the measurements are identical. You'd certainly expect them to be. Lining them up as carefully as possible at the 0, 1 cm mark, and then looking along at the other end of the ruler, we're not absolutely sure whether the measurements match. For what I do, these fractional differences are really not important, but in fine engineering and scientific applications, they might be crucial. And that's where we come to the need for precise definition. The original definition was set by the French Academy of Sciences in 1791 as one ten millionth of the distance from the equator to the North Pole running through Paris. But that's not an easy definition for others to check and copy. So just a few years later, the meter was redefined in terms of a standard metal bar. This was a definition that stuck for quite a long time, although the metal bar was changed a couple of times. For more precise definition and for the ease of international use, the meter was then redefined in terms of a certain number of wavelengths of an emission line of Krypton 86. And then a couple of decades later, the meter was defined in the way that we use now as the length of the path travelled by light in a vacuum in 1, 299,792,458 of a second. As I'm sure you won't agree, an easy number to remember. Just to add a few other facts and comparisons, the meter is an SI base unit. We use the meter to define other units of measurement. In comparison to imperial units, the meter is just over a yard long at 3.28 feet, 39.37 inches or 1.09 yards. A mile is just over 1,609 metres. And finally, should you need to know, a light year is this very large number. Thank you for watching.